Hey guys and welcome to Let's Click Photography. My name's Dave and this week I want to share with you my thoughts on this lens. Oh, this beast of a lens it should be said. The Canon RF 28-270 F2. It is a mammoth of a lens and if you want a comparison, here's the 24-270 F2.8. Look at that. The difference is unbelievable. This is truly a beast of a lens and it weighs quite a bit too. Um, I'll put the actual specifications of its weight on screen now um, but needless to say it weighs a lot more than the 24-70 2.8 EF version um, and that's because it's an F2. Now in order to get an F2 aperture constant along the focal range you need to make a pretty big opening and have a lot of glass on the front and that glass ain't cheap it also ain't light and it also ain't small hence the size and weight of it and the price uh, in terms of the lens itself it has very few bells and whistles on the lens in terms of any functionality autofocus manual focus we've got a lock switch here which locks it into place at the wide end we've got our zoom ring um, and as you can see there the front element comes out of the body. Uh, we have our focus ring, which is right here, and we have our control ring. The breadth circumference is 95 millimeters. So if you want a filter um, to go on that, that is the size of filter that you would need. It's an L lens. It feels exceedingly well built. As I say, it's quite weighty, um, but it's a solid, solid lens. There's no doubt about that. It's weather sealed, just has all of the hallmarks of a great, Canon build lens. Um, the RF28-270 in all of those regards, absolutely superb. Now in my opinion, this is definitely not a walk around lens. I really only think of one type of photography that you would really use this for, and that's portrait photography, but, but more specifically, wedding photography or event photography. Now there's been a lot made about this lens as a wedding photography lens, being called superb, the best thing ever. I'm not quite in that camp. Um, I think it is a brilliant, brilliant lens. Um, I've shot one wedding with it. I'm about to shoot another wedding with it as well. Um, I think it's a beautiful lens. It's definitely fast. It performs fantastically with the Canon R6. Uh, focusing, it, it, it's superb and just performs like a dream. I'm not entirely sure that it's quite as innovating as the advertising would have you think. I mean, 2870 is not really that innovational of a focal range. Having the constant aperture of f2 is certainly something that is very new, very different um, for this type of lens and very handy and very welcome. But I still need a second lens. I still need that extra lens. This doesn't cover me for a wedding. Something like a 35 to 85 millimeter Canon, is that possible? Um, would be much better in that respect. So 28 to 70 does the job, but it doesn't do all of the job. As I mentioned at the beginning, it isn't light, um, it's quite heavy, and it does take its toll when you are hand holding it throughout an entire day. And so that's gonna be a consideration if you are planning on doing wedding event shoots of eight to 10 hours using this. The price, this morning, this lens is £3,200 listed on Amazon and that is a heck of a lot of money and I must admit it's too much for me. If you are a full-time wedding photographer doing 20-25 weddings per year then this is probably an investment that you want to make. Wedding photography for me is a bit of a side animal. I do it but I don't really want to do more than about 10 maximum 12 per year um, and so for me that kind of investment 3200 pounds for one lens that won't do the whole job just seems an awful awful lot especially considering that it's not that versatile outside of that arena you wouldn't take this out and do landscape photography with it it's far too big it's far too heavy it's not a carry around lens for those exact same reasons it's not long enough for Wildlife shoots, it's not wide enough for architectural shoots. So for me, it just fits into one arena. And although it is a stupendous lens, 
in that arena for everything else something like the 24 to 70 is a lot more likable so i'd say who's this for wedding and events photographer who's it not for anybody who doesn't want to spend three thousand two hundred pounds on a lens would i buy this lens no i wouldn't i will rent this a lot though probably 10 to 12 times this next year as i said this is not a walk around lens it's not an everyday lens and it's not cheap but if you want to see something that fits all of that bill click this video here and check out the rf 24 to 240 and see what you make of that one there and of course if you have found this super useful then make sure to hit that like thumbs up and the bell notification i've been dave this has been let's click photography and from me for now ciao